Welcome to our tutorial about rendering. First, let's go to the Inventor Studio environment, Applications, Inventor Studio. Now let's click on Render Image. The Render Image dialog window opens. First, we can specify the output size on the General tab. We can also choose an option and size from this drop-down menu. Next, we can choose between the current view or the views provided by each of our cameras. We can also choose a lighting style from this drop-down menu. Tabletop is pre-selected here since we'd set up this style in our previous tutorial. Next option is Scene Style, but currently we don't have any selected. Render Type, we can choose between Realistic and Illustration. Now let's take a look at the Output tab. Check here to save the rendered image to a file. A Save dialog window opens or we can also choose to render it to a temporary location. Anti-aliasing, we can choose between None, Low, High, and Highest Anti-Aliasing. The higher the anti-alias level, the slower the rendering process will be. Now let's check out the Style tab. Currently there's only one option available on this tab, True Reflection. If this box is checked, the rendering process will be slower. Let's go back to the General tab. If we select Illustration in Realistic from the Render Type drop-down menu, the Style tab is going to have more available options. Now we're ready to render. Let's click Render. Inventor processes our request. It looks like the light is too bright. The image is definitely washed out. You also see that the reflective surfaces don't reflect the other objects in the scene. Let's make some modifications. We'll close that window. Now right click on Lighting, Edit, and let's adjust the brightness. We'll lower it down to 30, Save, and Done. Select Render Image. Let's go to the Style tab and check True Reflection. Back to the General tab, let's click Render. Autodesk processes our request. Now the lighting style looks much better and we see some reflections. If you're satisfied with the image, click Save. For now, we're going to cancel out of this option and close the rendered image window. Now let's go check out Illustration Rendering Type. We go to the Style tab. Let's increase the levels to 10 with this slider. Let's check Show Shiny Highlights. And let's render. Inventor processes our request. It's significantly faster this way and thus less load for your CPU. Let's close our rendered image. Now let's go back to a realistic render type. We'll select Camera 1 for our view and click Render. The rendering takes a bit longer now. The rendering is complete. Let's close this window and let's check out Camera 2's view. Click Render. And here is our rendered image from the perspective of Camera 2. Let's close the image window. And let's zoom out a little bit. Now right click on Camera 1, Edit. I want to adjust Camera 1 a little bit. We can adjust it up and across the various axes, or we can simply freely drag it. Click OK when you're done, and let's check Link to View to see our changes. 
And this concludes our tutorial about rendering images.